Hey everyone, it's Nova. I have been searching on Amazon for hours today to find you not just 20 tarot decks under $25, but the ones that I have and the ones that I recommend. So it took me quite a long time, but I'm happy with the selection that I'm going to show you. I have 20 amazing timeless tarot decks here. And at the end, I have one bonus deck that is just 10 cents above $25 but I have to show you that one, so stay to the end of this video. That would make me very happy. And I'm quite sure you will at least find a few decks in this selection that you can buy as a gift since this is the season for gifting or buy for yourself. Maybe they will go on your wish list. But of course, these prices change, so I don't know when you'll be watching this video. I don't think the prices will change that much though. It's amazon.com. The prices are in US dollars. I am filming this video mid-November. So we start with the Pulp Tarot. This really burned me because I bought this deck last year for 100 euros from tarot.nl because I live in Europe. So 100 euros is equivalent to $110, I think. And I found this deck for you guys for $24.95. <laughs> On Amazon these are the gorgeous bags and probably you have seen this deck I did not expect it to be <laughs> below $25 I was shocked and quite mad as well I mean nothing against tarot.nl tarot.nl is a great website actually they are a great online shop for tarot decks in Europe they have many decks and the prices are also okay of course a lot more expensive for indie decks in the US but that's just because of the crazy fees shipment fees and also import tax like the last time that I bought a deck from the US was like three months ago I bought the serpent and the peacock tarot and I bought it for like $70 and I paid $30 to ship it and another $30 for import taxes anyways this is an incredible deck it reads well I recommend it the cardstock is great it's a clear reader it is chatty, it's beautiful. And this is the first one. The second one is the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine, illustrated by Dan Craig. And this stick is also quite famous. This is a great deck for if you want lighter messages you know if you want a um, positive reading like if you are in a negative state of mind if you are worried about something or you're sad about something this will put you in a good mood the guidebook is amazing it's written so well i recommend reading the guidebook for the cards that you pull it has many spreads the cards are large these are the gorgeous bags, I've etched them. They are very matte and high quality. And you get three keywords for each card and all the keywords put you in a positive mood. They are still very realistic though. Like here, eight of water, you have searching, empowerment, fulfillment. You have an angel in many of the cards. Or like here, for example, you have a feather. You see you have a white feather here. Page of Earth. The images are modern. Look at this guy, King of Water, it's the King of Cups, of course. Compassionate, understanding, trustworthy. Knight of Earth. Organized, responsible, supportive. It's really good for learning tarot. 
it's good to use for clients especially if it's a new client and you don't know them or if a client is in a negative state this is a really good deck to use for them the imagery will calm them it's definitely a very useful deck for readings for other people for yourself too so this deck is $21.92 and it went down from $26.99. So it went down from $26.99 to $21.92. Number three is one of my favorite decks. It's MJ Quillinen's The Guardian of the Night Tarot. This is published by Hay House. I love this deck so much high quality cardstock the guidebook is really good it has spreads really good spreads and the, each card gets so much explanation look this amount is for eight of cups and it's written very well so then you have the cards here these are the gorgeous bags I've etched them myself the imagery on this deck this is my intuitive deck it fires up my intuition the paintings are so rich of course the painting style of MJ Cullinan that we all love Knight of Swords So I recommend all of these decks that I'm showing you so I don't have to say that with every deck. This one is 1968 at the moment. It went down from 24.99 to 19.68. So it went down more than $5. And that's like 20% it's so matte it's so good oh, i love it love this deck so that was the third deck number four phantom wise tarot the box opens like this it does not have a magnetic closure but it doesn't need one the guidebook is good it's nice you get this much per card the guidebook is glossy the box is very nice and sturdy the cards are linen like they're not linen they're linen like and they are uh, kind of plastic so that helps it shuffle really well and you hear this squishing sound so if you don't like this sound pay attention but it shuffles like a dream these are the gorgeous bags. I have etched the deck myself. The cards are black and white and gray. So you have different shades of gray. Black and white. And the white is cream. It's like an off-white. It's not white white. Or maybe it's grayish. What I'm trying to say is that although it is monochromic, but it's warm, it's not cold. I don't know if my camera is picking it up that well, but it has a warm tone. Not extremely warm, but it is warm. Anyways, it's beautiful. It reads very well. It pairs with so many other different types of decks it's gorgeous the size is not too large it's a little bit a tad bit smaller than your average rws card a gorgeous deck i really like it unless you don't like this material i find it really cool I know some people might not like it it's not too plasticky it's just more on the plasticier side than papery 
Okay, so this was number four. Number five is Cosmic Slumber Tarot. I have the German copy of it. So it's printed by Urania, as you see here. But on Amazon.com, you guys have the Liminal 11 version of it for $18.67. So my copy opens this way, but you guys with your Liminal 11, you know how the Liminal 11 boxes are, right? Those are also amazing. The cards are exactly the same. You get a guidebook with it, which is nice. I have edged mine in this lavender color. These are the gorgeous bags. And these are the cards. This is such a colorful and creative, beautiful deck. It's really colorful. It reads very well. All the decks that I'm showing you are powerful readers. And all of them start talking to you the moment you pull them. All of them easy to read. Look how nice this Hierophant is. It's gorgeous. So this is another realm, obviously. The High Priestess. If you want me to do a walkthrough or a flip through of any of these decks, let me know in the comments. Also, please let me know in the comments if you decided to get any of these decks for yourself or as a gift. That would make me happy. If I know that this video was helpful to you guys, that would, of course, make me very happy. So the Cosmic Slumber was 1867 and it went down from 24.99. So this one has dropped more than $6. Next is New Chapter Tarot. So this one is a Liminal 11 deck. So the box opens this way. And there's usually another box in it, but I remove those because I don't see the point of having a box inside a box. New Chapter Tarot. Very interesting deck. So this is the guidebook. You get the explanation for each card. This is not a deck for beginners. I have removed, by the way, the borders. It comes with white borders and I've removed them. So consider that. You can watch videos. If you're thinking about buying this deck, you can go and find a flip through of this deck on YouTube. So these are the backs. I have etched them in this beautiful green and I'm very happy with my edging. And look at these gorgeous and unique paintings. They are done with watercolor. And this deck seems to be more taught based or very much influenced by taught or thought. You guys say thought, I say taught. When I say taught, I mean thought, but it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, this is a very interesting deck. I suggest use this deck only in spreads. Because reading it without a spread could be very confusing. I love the cardstock. The cardstock is thick. Not too thick, but it's sturdier than your average cardstock. And I like that. I really like it when the cards are a bit stiff. So you can't riffle shuffle this very well. But I'm an overhand shuffler, so I don't find that a problem. Look at this Eight of Swords. I find watercolor a very good medium for 
esoteric paintings for spiritual paintings for tarot cards absolutely love this deck so this went down from 24.99 to 22.49 so it dropped two and a half dollars now i have a rws deck for you guys this is the one that i recommend for many reasons i have many rws decks this one is radiant wise spirit from los carabello I recommend this deck because the box is amazing. I mean, for the price that you're paying, this is the best box that you can get out of all the RWS decks that I saw under $25 today. This one has the best box. This one has the best cardstock. This is a Los Carabello deck, but they're higher end. These are the gorgeous backs. I have etched them in black. I have this deck in order. Look how beautiful, warm and deep colors. And it shuffles like a dream. This deck shuffles so well. So this deck was 23.05 so 23 dollars and five cents i mean nowadays with 23 dollars usually you cannot get a deck like this especially rws you can get a you can get rws decks for low prices but the box is not like this and the cardstock is definitely not this quality so this was number seven number eight is white newman tarot i have the french version of it so the publisher is le duc a french publisher but for you guys in amazon.com you have the liminal 11 version of it which is exactly the same the guidebook is good you get this much you get a paragraph per card and then for majors you get a, you get a page still not many words but it's enough this is a gorgeous deck the thing about this deck is that it's gorgeous that's its power and it reads very well so my copy comes with gilding and it's copper uh, what I'm seeing in the camera is more like gold, but what I really have here in my hands is proper copper color. These are the gorgeous bags. And the cardstock is your Liminal 11 average cardstock, which is really good, sturdy, and nice. This is such a beautiful deck. And powerful look at this four of swords and the painting is like there is a filter on it on purpose like you had in the 70s this was popular in the 70s and it's really cool this is again happening in some parallel universe in some other realm this whole thing and it's so fantastical it's joyful you know it's one of those decks that you really enjoy just holding it in your hands and shuffling it and pulling some cards for yourself or for others I think other people would also really love this deck if you want to give this to someone or if you want to do readings for other people, I think this is a great deck. Look at this Queen of Wands. And the star. So this deck, oh, this is good news. This one dropped $10. From $24.99, it went down to $14.97. 
So it's time to buy it. If you want it, just go and get it. Because it's not going to drop any lower than this. Okay. So this was deck number eight. Number nine is Piotnik. I have mine in this bag that I've made myself. This is a Marseille deck by Piotnik. Piotnik is an Austrian publisher. And this is a gorgeous deck. It went down from 4158 to 1999. So it went down almost $22. So I have this deck in order because I want to make a side-by-side -side comparison of this deck and another facsimile. This is a facsimile, meaning it looks old. They clean up the old version, but the way they reapply paint and redraw the lines and everything, it still looks old like how it used to be. Because the old versions that we have now in the museums are, they look like this, but they are quite dirty. Like you see a lot of lines and stuff. So basically they clean it up. But it still looks old. It looks how it used to be. And it's such a beautiful deck. It has such a great card stock. Be careful that you don't buy the counterfeit version of it because that one is also on Amazon at least in Europe I don't know about the US but you have this one the counterfeit version in Amazon Europe as well but my copy is the real one it's beautiful the muted the cream color of the backgrounds look at this hermit Look at this chariot. I love this deck. This, this is one of my favorite decks of all time. Look at this Hierophant. The Emperor with the kissy face. I mean, come on. The blues in this deck. And this pink this type of washed out pink i really appreciate the colors too okay so this one was published in 2006 in vienna by piatnik and this was deck number nine i have another marseille deck for you guys spanish tarot by fournier and this deck is a favorite to many people. Look how cool this is. Again, this deck is in order. Because I did, I already made a comparison video. It's not in order. Oh, it's not in order anymore. <laughs> Okay, let me show you all the cards. Most of the cards. Look at this color palette. The greens, the purples, the blues, the oranges and reds and everything. So gorgeous, this deck. And the cream color in the background. Love this purple. And they're really tanned. Tanned faces with blue eyes. So beautiful. This deck is $21.95. I know some of you guys are not into Marseille, but if you want to have just one Marseille deck, I recommend this one. 
It also shuffles like a dream. It's such a high quality cardstock. This deck also has a vintage version with a bit more muted colors on it, but I prefer this one. I have seen that one. That one is also beautiful, but I prefer this. All right, so this was number 10. We have 10 more to go. Actually 11 with the bonus one at the end. Number 11 is Fairy Tarot. This was published by US Game Systems last year, exactly a year ago. And this is such a cozy deck. I have edged it. These are the gorgeous bags and I have edged it in the same mustard color as in this line in the back. These cards have colored borders but the cards are not color coded. The Empress. The Hermit. Love this Hermit card. Six of Swords. I just let you see for yourself. This deck does not need any advertisement, I think. And I'm not sitting here advertising these decks for you guys. I don't even have an affiliate link with Amazon. And I will just put the names of the decks in my description box without a link. So I'm not encouraging you to go and buy these decks because I'm gonna earn anything. It's not like that at all. And I hope I don't sound like that. It's just that these are great decks and are now for really good prices. And this is the gift season. You probably will buy a few gifts for your friends and family, siblings. And I think a tarot deck is a great gift. For someone who will appreciate it of course these tarot decks nowadays are art pieces as well you you get 78 pieces of art so this one the fairy tarot went down from 2195 to 1739 and it's created by natalie hertz which is a famous one and she has been in the business for a very long time a few of her decks from the 70s are now out of print and sought after I don't have them I had one of them but I rehomed it anyways next number 12 Darkwood Tarot by Sasha Graham art by Abigail Larson it's a Llewellyn production. We love Sasha Graham for her writings. I mean, look at this guidebook. Just look at it. And the images. And it's huge. This is the size of it. And it's written so well. This is a precious guidebook. We all appreciate Abigail Larson's artwork right most people do these are the gorgeous bags I have edged them myself if you have one Llewellyn deck you know how amazingly they shuffle so moody I love it when it's colorful, but it's all like jewel tones, you know? Jewel tones and moody and dark. Dramatic. Takes me back to my childhood and it fires up my intuition. And I just appreciate it as a piece of art so much.
Okay, so this was number 12, Darkwood Tarot. It went down from 31.99 to 22.49. So it went down almost $10. That's a really good price for this deck. I mean, just look at this guidebook. Number 13, The Tarot of Light by Dennis Jarvie. Artwork by Tony Carmine Salerno. This is a Blue Angel publishing deck with Blue Angel matte cardstock. Gorgeous guidebook. This is again one of those decks that you can use when you're not feeling so strong and powerful. It's a very supportive deck. These are the gorgeous bags. I have etched them myself. And these are the gorgeous images, the universe expansion. So you get a keyword for each card. Knight of Hearts, Romance. The suits are renamed. Four of Hearts, Depression. So the hearts are the cups, the angels are the swords, page of angels, mysticism. So you see when you change the swords to angels, you're already really softening the whole vibe of your reading, right? This one is Ten of Trees. It's the Ten of Wands and the keyword is loyalty. So this is not strongly based on RWS. It's kind of doing its own thing. I think it has some thought influence as well. Definitely it has six of stars success. The force, strength. Page of hearts, innocence. Seven of trees, contemplation. The release instead of death, metamorphosis. The path instead of chariot, exploration. So it's something between an oracle and a tarot deck. And if you look at it that way, you can use it as a beginner even. But if you're learning tarot and you really want a proper tarot deck, this is not a good one for that purpose. It's not good for beginners in that sense. It is gorgeous and very intuitive, very artistic, very gentle and emotional. It went down more than $10. It went down from $34.95 to $24.35. So this is good news. If you wanted this deck and it was on your wish list, go and get it now. Next is the Hermetic Tarot. I don't have the box anymore, guys. I'm putting mine in these boxes from Luminol 11. You know the inside boxes. I just told you that I don't use them for inside a Liminal 11 box, like a box in the box. I put my other stuff in them, such as this deck. I've thrown away the talk box of this deck. So therefore I keep it in this one, the inside box of Liminal 11. And I just put Hermetic Tarot sticker on it. That's how simple I am. So these are the gorgeous bags. This is definitely a non-beginner deck. It is very esoteric and hermetic. I think it's a collector's item. Especially for this price, $17.50 for this incredible deck. I mean, look at it. Yeah, this is something else. I wish it was bigger though. I hope they will publish another bigger version of it, but this is out for years and they have not. Although we've been asking for a bigger version, but nope. It's not too detailed. I mean, some of the cards are like this one. But it's okay. It is a vibe, you know. It's really cool. The 
the emperor, son of the morning. How cool is this? King of Pentacles, Prince of the Chariot of Earth. Five of Wands, Lord of Strife. That's really cool. Okay, so this was number 14. The Hermetic Tarot for 1750. Next, the Golden Tarot by Liz Dean. This one is a Sico Books publishing production. Beautiful cards. So, the cards are glossy. The guidebook is, look how colorful and beautiful the guidebook is. Love reading this guidebook. You can learn this whole deck, its whole system and everything, read all the cards without the cards. Like, you don't need to have the cards in your hands because you have these images so large. And then you have keywords and associated planet or sign and reverse meaning, upright meaning, the explanation of the images, like what is actually happening in each card, like here for death. It says, a woman holds a rose and a flower bud, symbolizing fullness and potential, endings and beginnings. A blood red sun is setting, indicating a time for reflection and release. Although number 13 traditionally unlucky death predicts necessary endings that are often natural outcomes very good explanations also really cool guidebook and the cards look at my edging i have a video i will put it in my description box about all the sharpies that i use for edging my decks including these metallic ones so these are the gorgeous bags. As I said, the cards are glossy. They are quite large. This is a, like a combination of these taroki decks, these old Italian classic decks, and Rider Waite Smith. But more Taroki. Yeah, a little bit RWS. <laughs> it's a combination. It reads well. The pips are beautiful, although they are simple, but they definitely convey the energy of each suit. So lovely. I want to show you the suit of ones. I think we didn't get any ones pips here. Here. So this one, the Golden Tarot, went down from 1999 to 1799. And this was the 15th deck. Deck number 16 is the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot and Guidebook. It's the Tim Burton's Disney movie. And I love this deck again. Images are by Abigail Larson that I love so much. I love her artwork. And written by Minerva Siegel. 
inside edition box and quality which is really good sturdy box everything gorgeous look at these bags I have edged it the guidebook is good colored yeah I really like this deck and I have done many readings with it I received it just a few months ago like three months ago and I have done at least 30 readings with it I have it on my desk it's either on my desk or it's downstairs in the living room but it's always out it's a clear reader and I just love touching it I love the tactile experience it's soft and buttery and not too thin not too thick but it's on the thicker side it went down from $24.99 oh my god to $14.67 so it dropped more than $10 if you had this deck on your wish list it's time to get it and remember I'm not telling you because I will earn anything from it because I won't I'm also not promoting consumerism or anything I mean you just you clicked on this video you know what it is about right we are all adults here so that's why I'm recommending the text that I'm recommending to you because you clicked on this video anyways this was deck number 16 number 17 oh I always get excited about this deck this is the golden tarot by cat black I heard there is another version of it out there uh, I have the older version that is the glossy one and the newer version is linen cardstock but I do not know the one that is now on Amazon for $20 20 90 I don't know if it's the older version which is glossy or if it's the new version that is linen cardstock please go to the information of the deck if you want to buy it if it's important for you go and check that so this deck had these borders and the one that you will order will also have these brown borders but I have trimmed them I like my copy more trimmed especially because it's glossy I think because it's glossy it looks a lot better without the borders so these are the gorgeous bags and I have etched them too I love this deck so much look at this this is six of coins the rich colors the sense of humor of it I love medieval stuff I'm a sucker for medieval stuff and cat black has done such an incredible job with this deck so much work she has gathered all these paintings from these old churches all over europe and collaged the bits and pieces together to create each tarot archetype like look at this wheel of fortune So this is a gem in my opinion. It is twenty dollars, twenty ninety at the moment. And this was the number seventeenth on the list today. Next was a big surprise for me when I saw it. I just saw this one on Amazon accidentally, and I was so surprised because it is only eighteen ninety six, and I bought it last year here in Europe for thirty dollars. And I just cannot believe that this incredible product with this quality could be sold for only $18.96. It went down from $24.95 to $18.96. It is a US Games production. This is the gorgeous guidebook. This deck is not for beginners. 
I myself use it as an oracle deck and I'm very happy with that. And when I use it as an oracle deck, I also look at the tarot associations, the titles of the cards. Then it really helps me understand the cards. These are the gorgeous backs. And these are the gorgeous cards. I love these paintings. They are so cozy and nostalgic. Ten of water. It's red clover. And you have to read the guidebook to understand why. Why each herb was chosen, like here, the high priestess, mugwort. This deck is so beautiful. And I don't pull too many cards from it. Like, I pull just one or two cards. And I mix it with another tarot deck. It goes very well with so many other tarot and oracle decks. It's so earthy and peaceful and gentle. This is a valuable deck in my collection. I'm so happy that I have it. so beautiful it calms me down okay so this went down from 24.95 to 18.96 next is another Marseille deck in a tin this is a gorgeous deck it is very little Maria Celia Tarot de Maria Celia these are the gorgeous bags. I have etched them. They are glossy. But not too glossy. They're not high gloss. They're just a little bit gloss. Very little. Like a lamination, you know. The cardstock is really good. It's not flimsy at all. It's sturdy but still shuffleable. The color palette is unique, gorgeous, and antique looking. Makes me happy. This deck definitely makes me happy. Look at this Ten of Cups. Valet of Swords or the Page of Swords. Death. <laughs> so cool. Oh, the Empress. Yeah, it's really nice. This is a nice gift, especially because it's in a tin. So this one retails for $19.95. And you can riffle shuffle it easily. Now, the last one, number 20. And after that, remember to stay for the last one. That was a bonus one. So number 20 is Antique Anatomy that went from $29.99 to $21.44. Okay, first of all, a coffee table book. This is the guidebook, but this is as good as any coffee table book in my opinion actually now that i'm saying that i'm just gonna take it downstairs and put it on my coffee table because when i have a guidebook like this downstairs in living room i will just go through it in the evenings when my hobby is sitting watching something that i'm not interested in <laughs> i will just go through this guidebook instead of going through my phone if you guys have Instagram, by the way, you can follow me on Instagram, Nova underline Luna underline Tarot. I put my pairings mostly in my Instagram. These are the gorgeous antique bags. I did not want to edge this deck, although I should. I should edge it with this like old looking stamps. 
I don't have one. I still have to go and buy some. Anyways, look at these cards. Good quality also. So this is again one of those decks. When I saw the price on Amazon, I wasn't even looking for it, but I just saw it accidentally and I saw, oh, it went down from $30 to $21.44. And I know this deck. I have worked with it so many times. I can recommend it. It's one of my trusty pip decks that I have worked with so many times and I have paired it with so many other decks and I have always been so happy with the outcome with the readings that I get out of this deck you know I was like great when I saw it for 2144 I was like you're definitely coming on this list today it's beautiful what can I tell you the combination of the flowers with the skeletons and the monotonous gray colors with these beautiful reds and greens the artwork is just a paradox of interesting stuff that make together create such a great deep and unique artwork it's beautiful so this was the 20th deck and the bonus one for Hoxha Tarot. It didn't went on the list because the price is 10 cents above $25. But I had to show you this deck. My copy is the indie version, but I'm talking about the mass market version, which came out recently. So I do not know how the back of it looks like. Maybe it looks like this, maybe it doesn't. I don't remember how it looks like. You can search for it on YouTube. I have edged mine in this beautiful orange. The indie version of this deck is very slippy. But I know that the mass market version is not slippy. It's matte. And I actually want to get that one too. But the images are the same. MJ Kulinen artwork. It's a Fey deck. And it has a very raw Fey energy. Like it's not fairy tale, fairy energy. It's raw Fey energy. And I love it. I really appreciate it for that. The colors are gorgeous. The paintings are so wild. Such an interesting deck. And the guidebook is really good. It explains what is happening in each card. And I really appreciate that when writers do that. Look at this high priestess. So guys, this was my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this was helpful to you. Please let me know which deck went on your wish list, which deck are you gonna buy for yourself or as a gift for someone else. And thank you so much for staying with me to the end as well. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I mean, if you like my videos, <laughs> I would really appreciate that. That would help me a lot. And I love this card. Council of Monarchs. This is the Emperor. And it's explained in the guidebook so well why this card is the Emperor card. So this card is for you. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.